Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at the 10 most genius advertisements ever. So we all hate TV ads as they're very boring. When they come on, you likely get out of the room, go to the bathroom, or make a snack. But here are some advertisements which are not boring at all. These adverts are awesome and actually make life better. It may sound crazy, but hear me out and have a look at these amazing advertisements. But first, why not subscribe to Top 10s and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10, we have Dollars. So, have you heard of the company 3M? In case you haven't, they make various building supplies. And something they specialize in is security glass. They make glass for things like banks and large buildings. This is so no one can destroy the buildings or rob the banks. But just how secure is their security glass? Well, to prove how confident they are with their glass, they put their glass on a bus stop ad. And then in between their security glass, they put one million dollars. They said if you can break the glass, you get to keep the one million dollars. And as you can imagine, that led to a lot of people trying to break this glass. People punched it, kicked it, ran at it, and even drove their cars into it. But it seems 3M security glass really is secure. Literally nothing broke it, and 3M got to keep their one million dollars. And when they put it up, they even installed a camera to capture everyone trying to get in. They then made the compilation of people trying to break the glass into another commercial. And I have to say, the videos of the guys trying to break the glass is very funny. For a million dollars, I'm surprised somebody didn't get some kind of movie gadget and cut through the glass. But it seems 3M's glass is too tough to break. Next up is Parking Spot. So this one is slightly more dark, but it is also kind of funny and delivers a very serious message. So we all know that drinking and driving is a big problem. Tons of people pass away every year from this. And there are many typical adverts telling you not to drink and drive. But sometimes these don't have all that much impact. Well, that is why one city installed this very, very ominous advert. As you can see, they painted a parking spot on a sidewalk with a tree on it saying reserved for drunk drivers. So they're pretty much saying if you're driving drunk, you're gonna crash into a tree. Now, this may be kind of dark and harsh, but hey, it's true. And it definitely is an effective, if not eerie reminder not to drink and drive. Next up is light bulb. So we all know in those old TV shows when people got a good idea, a light bulb would appear above their head. Well, The Economist magazine decided to make this a reality. On their billboards, they installed giant light bulbs. Then they put motion sensors underneath those light bulbs. So when somebody walks underneath the billboard, the light bulb lights up. This is basically to say that if you read The Economist, you're gonna have a bunch of good ideas. If there's one thing the economy could need right now, it's some good ideas. But this really is one awesome advert. It's very plain and simple, but also very effective and also technological. Next up is coffee. Go feffy. So we all know that some sewers produce steam. This steam comes out of the holes in the sewers and it's not exactly a nice sight to see. It can make cities look all nasty and smoggy. Well, that is why Folgers Coffee decided to transform some of these nasty drains. Instead of having the smoke come out of manhole covers, they put cups of coffee over the covers. This then made a very tasty looking cup of fresh hot coffee. Imagine if somebody was high and saw this. Yeah, they'd probably think they found the world's biggest cup of coffee. On the adverts, it also says for the city that never sleeps. And that's because they mainly did these in New York, which is the city that never sleeps and the coffee capital of the USA. Next up is in the trunk. So this is another awesome ad in New York. We all know the HBO show Sopranos. It's about a bunch of gangsters in New York. Well, when a new season of The Sopranos was coming out, HBO decided to do this very funny and eerie ad. Instead of a very obvious ad campaign, they simply put a hand sticking out the trunk. This makes it look like they have a body back there. Now, clearly this is just a decoration for an advert. But as you can see from the images, there were a few concerned New Yorkers who didn't get it at first. But I'm sure once they saw the Soprano sticker, they got the joke. I have to say, this is some clever and also kind of scary advertising. I just hope not too many taxis with these ads got pulled over. Next up is all you can eat. So when you're on a road trip, there's nothing better than pulling into an all-you-can-eat rest stop. You get hungry on the road and need a bunch of food. Well, one rest stop decided to advertise on the highway in a very genius way. Just before the rest stop is a large tunnel. So instead of the average billboard, they did this. That's right, they made a ginormous image of a woman's mouth the tunnel. So she eats you and then you can get an all-you-can-eat. I have to say, it would be kind of scary driving right into somebody's mouth. But you can't deny this is one amazing and funny advert. Next up is Sewer Barbecue. So most of these interesting adverts have been from big brands with a big budget. But this one goes to show that the average show can make an awesome ad with some creativity. Instead of nasty sewers all over your city, wouldn't you rather have barbecue grills? Well, that's exactly what one guy called Vijay who was selling barbecues thought. So he put things like skewers, spatulas, and grills over sewer drains. He then spray painted, need a new barbecue? Call me. This is a very subtle but also genius idea. And I guarantee he got way more calls than he would if he just got a simple billboard. I don't know if the guy paid to do this, but I assume he didn't. I'm pretty sure you can't just go around graffitiing the street. 
But then again, that means this guy ran this ad with a zero budget. It really does go to show, if you want to make some sales, all you need is some creativity. Next up is blue. So I'm sure we're all aware of the world water crisis. It's hard to believe that billions of people in the world don't have access to clean water. It's something we just take for granted. But in many countries around the globe, people don't have access to safe water. One charity working to stop this is called Water for Life. It's a charity located in Oklahoma, USA. We see those TV ads for charities all the time and they get kind of tiring. So that is why Water is Life did a massive and very impactful campaign. They painted an entire massive street blue. This was to demonstrate how many people don't have have access to water. For us, water is literally everywhere. It's in stores, our fridge, the faucet, the bathtub, but many people don't even have enough to keep them alive. So that is why this is one awesome campaign. Not only is it for a good cause, it's also massive and incredibly elaborate. Next up is Dropped Calls. So one of the most boring ads are cell phone ads. We all think cell phone providers are pretty much the same, but one cell phone provider named Singular thinks they're different. And according to their ads, they are. They installed a massive billboard saying hate dropped calls. But instead of just saying hate dropped calls, they showed it. As you can see, they made the effect as if the word calls had been dropped from the billboard. Now, this may look like a massive accident, but no, this is just clever advertising. They claim to have the fewest dropped calls. But to be honest, I don't care how their network is. With advertising like this, I'm sold. Coming up next is cameras. So here's another example of an ad making a city look awesome. In cities, there are tons of metal pillars all over the place. They're there for a good reason, to stop cars from driving up onto the pavements. But you can't deny, they make the city look unsightly. That is why Canon decided to make the city look a bit cooler. Instead of having these metal pillars, they made them into lenses. They painted cameras on the ground and then painted an optical lens onto the pillars. This way, it looks like there's tons of ginormous cameras all over the city. They did this to introduce their new Finepix cameras with a 10 time optical zoom. I'm not sure who came up with this idea, but whoever they are, they're thinking outside the box. Check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the most amazing advert on this list. My favourite was the million dollars in glass one. Don't lie, I'm sure we would all try and break that glass for a million dollars. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now, leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.